without further ado, I introduce Eugene Hillman, your host for today. So price, service, and being a one-man band is not a sustainable business. It's one thing to talk, it's one thing to write plans, it's one thing to strategize, but the way we fix things and the way we get sorted and the way we change things is to take action, to do something. My name is Don. The business I'm going to start is basically a cleaning company that will be targeting commercial offices, schools and educational facilities, office parks and shopping centers. I hear you saying cleaning service. I mean, everybody can do the cleaning service, but exactly what makes you unique from other uh, companies that uh, you know we all know about already. My name is Lusiba Choeni. I'm here to present an idea and I want you to keep in mind that the idea that I'm going to present is about targeting the rich and famous and I'm here to go big or I have to go home. You must just keep in mind it's, it's, it's targeting the rich and famous and it's also <laughs> Steve mentioned that uh, his, uh, his target market was specifically the rich and famous and I was just wondering if he's connected to anyone actually of rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> I want to establish a consultancy based company that basically would profile people and employers and employee job descriptions to find out which employees can work remotely from home. Is his target market people who are working in government departments or people who are unemployed and trying to get employment, whereby you're going to get them employment? Hi, my name is Erwin Middleton. Uh, 5.9 million people approximately have HIV AIDS currently in South Africa. It's very difficult to talk about HIV AIDS, so I've developed a board game. What I didn't get, and I think you must take this very much serious, is uh, the pricing. Hi, my name is Shantilla. I would like to establish a scholars magazine in terms of pricing. Okay. Um, there are a couple of uh, publications. Um, there's one in particular, magazine here in Bulukwan, and it is being distributed for free. Guys, I just want to say um, thank you to Brand House for bringing this to us. Um, it's something very creative, innovative, a very good learning experience for a lot of us. You have an incredible passion to work the audience. We've seen that today, that you actually get the audience behind you with, with a lot of enthusiasm. Structure, research, giving yourself that sturdy platform in which to roll this operation out, this business, uh, is lacking. And I think that getting a grasp of the financials to ensure specifics around, it's a very broad approach. And you clearly indicated your target market. And if you have a, repl a replicate model, you can afford to keep the prices low. Uh, the gray area for me was the distribution and how you'd make money they, you know, they aren't. Um, but your pricing sounds reasonable for the moment. Your industry is moving from print and distribution over to technology. I love the idea of innovation and Limpopo Scholars Magazine, it's not young nor is it dynamic. Today we only have one contestant that is uh, going to be proceeding to the second round and uh, I'd like to um, call on Erwin. <laughs> I'm very relieved and also very excited. I'm glad to have won. And uh, I think it was the right platform to actually express myself and my idea because you're normally cautious of spreading it in another platform. But it was very professionally arranged and you felt comfortable. Uh, the challenge in South Africa now is initiative ideas about entrepreneurship. And this at schools, we are missing that leg. So if we go ahead with this kind of initiatives, they will help you know, build these innovative ideas and bring South Africa on par with other world like your USA, etc. So I do believe that it's, it's a very relevant uh, event to go for. This type of competition for entrepreneurship in South Africa is absolutely critical. It helps people to think outside of the box and it brings communities together. Today a lot of people arrived here with an expectation of entrepreneurship and I think they all think it's pie in the sky and it's quick and easy. Going away this evening I believe they found a lot of value and they understand that entrepreneurship is a uniqueness and that's going to help them a lot.